J.D. Vance's comments during his visit to the victims of Hurricane Helen in Virginia are steeped in a deeply conservative view of Appalachian values. He portrays certain regions, particularly rural ones, as having been cast aside by elitist politicians and urban-centric policies. His embrace of Appalachian pride and the self-identity of hillbillies elevates what some might see as a slur into a badge of honor. It's a vivid demonstration of how local identity and traditional values are seen as sources of strength, resilience, and community by many. I, I know that, you know, we're, we're all, of course, in the middle of a political campaign. I, I think that one thing I've heard consistently from the governor is that FEMA has provided a lot of resources, and of course, we're very grateful to that. But I also think that talking to people just on the ground today, but also talking to the governor, this is a community that has long been left behind by the leadership of this country. People who have been forgotten, people who have been ignored, people who, who have been judged, despite the fact that they are the nicest people in the world. Uh, I, I gave the mayor a hug, and I, I was talking to somebody else along with the mayor, and she said, we're hillbillies and we're proud of it. And I think this community shows you why people are proud of Appalachian values. They're resilient, they're strong, and they love their neighbors, and they're going to rebuild this community, I believe, better than what it was before. And that's because of their incredible resilience and the incredible grace of the community of Damascus. I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud that I got my Damascus hat. Yeah. And, and most importantly, I'm just rooting for the people of this region, not just here in Virginia, but of course, all across the country, in North Carolina, in Tennessee, in Georgia, and Florida, who are affected by this terrible storm. Vance's praise for FEMA resources comes with a subtle critique. While he expresses gratitude for federal aid, he hints that such assistance should not overshadow the grit and determination of the communities themselves. There's a clear belief here. Self-reliance and local action should take precedence over distant government intervention. His use of words like forgotten and judged underscores a sentiment that coastal elites and bureaucrats often ignore or look down upon rural, working-class Americans by highlighting the nicest people in the world with incredible resilience. Vance taps into the conservative view that these communities possess an inherent moral fiber and toughness, forged in response to the scorn of outsiders. He points to their values, grit, neighborliness, and a strong belief in self-sufficiency as the foundation upon which a stronger America can be built. 